I have never seen the level of citizen support that Fubara is enjoying today. Andrew Uchendo. Now to the news in full. Andrew Uchendo, a former senator representing Rivers East, has alleged that Governor Simona Lai Fubara is currently enjoying an unprecedented level of citizen support in River State, despite the ongoing conflict with his predecessor, Yisom Wiki. Yes, and that is because he is doing right by the people of River State. If he was not doing right by them, of course, they would not support him. They would not support him against Wiki, but no, he is doing the right thing. He is loved. He is doing what he is supposed to do as the governor of the state. That is why he is get, getting all the support that he needs. He attributed the current crisis to an attitudinal problem, emphasizing the need for BK to prioritize the well-being of River State and its people. He acknowledged that some misgivings might exist on the side of the governor, but he stressed that they are insufficient to justify the current tension in the state. He said in an interview with Channels TV, I mean she could have gotten to the point of insulting Dr. Peter Odili, as we are seeing today in River State, but I think things have gotten worse. And it is an attitudinal thing. In all honesty, Yesamwike is my brother, and we come from the same tribe in River State. But I am thinking as a Nigerian, not as a tribal man. The most important thing will be for them to realize that River is more important to them. Yes, your state should be your priority. If you claim that you are from River State, you will not want to destroy your state just because of your selfish reason. Your 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 priority should be the improvement of your state, the move, moving forward of your state, and not to set your state backward just because you did not enter and now you want to destroy things because you, you did not get what you want. It is wrong. It is a very wrong thing to do. Just like VK said in one of the video clips I watched, he said there is nothing good as wishing your state peace. And so he should forgo everything if only to ensure that the people he ruled for good eight years are having peace after his exit. And that and that he owes River State people. All through my time in politics, I have not seen the level of citizen support that Governor Fubara is enjoying today. Exactly, people are really supportive of him and people are really behind him and they are happy with him. They are giving him all the necessary support that he needs. And that is why he is still bold enough to say that, okay, this river state, you are going to do everything to make it work. Because he has the support from the people and that is what matters. So if somebody is trying to cause trouble or cause issues in the state that you you claim that you governed for eight years, a state that you worked to build, to, to, to do something in for eight years, you just want to destroy it just because somebody is, is not doing your bidding, because somebody did not obey culturally, that, that, that does not even hold water. It's, 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 it's wrong. A few misgivings may be here, but that is not enough to create the tension we are having today in River State. If Ubara was not acting the way he is acting, I am sure that with the absence of the police during the election, there would have been mayhem and anarchy. But I voted and there was no unusual violence at the polling unit and there was no fight whatsoever because the people of River State were ready to take the bull by the horn and nothing happened. People voted peacefully. Everybody is a witness to that. So I don't understand why they are saying that the election or no, there's something of it is blah, blah, blah. They are, not, they are not going to take the results. People that have gone for the election, people that went for the election and voted are saying that the election went peacefully. So what, what other evidence do you need again? Benjamin Clement, Benjamin Clement says, when the righteous on the, is on the throne, Bible said that the people will rejoice exactly Fubara is a righteous person, even though all these politicians, all of them, always have an hidden agenda. But people of River State are happy with this man. They rejoice, they are fulfilled, they, are, they don't have anything against him. So they are supporting him. That is all that matters. Etin Ubon said, River State people need to support Fubara if they do not want to go into internal colonization through one man. And that they have been doing. They have been trying with the support for Fubara. Vera says, when abundant grace of God speaks, things take shape. 
Daroni Lewo says, You don't love Fubara, but only showing your hatred for Tinobu APC that WK supported in 2023 election. How do you know that? How do you know that it doesn't it doesn't love Fubara? OJ Caro said, Ha, how are the mighty fallen? WK allowed pride to fall him down Yakata. To the extent people who praise him those days when he was a governor are now raining courses on him. WK, please take life easy. Remember you have a family. Does he remember that he has a family? Are his family even talking to him? His wife and children, are they advising their father that, Daddy, you are doing too much. Calm down. This is also our state. This is also your state. You don't have to destroy your state just because of your selfish reason. Ken Neff said, correct. When you are at the right side, God and the people are with you. And that is exactly what is happening to Fubara and the people of Eva State. He's garnering all the support that he needs. And that is enough motivation. That is enough morale for him. Rivers people hate Wiki the moment he was talking about equity when he was still in PDP and rigged election for APC against people's votes to Labour Party, which about 70% of Viva people voted for. If you Wiki is supporting equity, why did you abandon your brother Peter in the south to support Tinobu in the west? Wiki, you have missed the target. He obviously did that because he has been promised um, what was it called? Ministerial appointment. That is why he rigged election for the APC. Because, of course, Peter Obi will not, is a man of integrity. He will not say what he's not going to do. He will not tell you that he will give you any appointment just because she helped him to rig the election. And he knows that supporting Peter Obi will not yield any positive results for him. He knows he's not going to get any anything out of it. That is why he supported the person that would give him an appointment after he has helped them. The reason is clear, it is truly river state people centered. Jamadekai said, but the governor that handed over to him did the same thing to him. Oh, wow. Akbaluma says, my brother, please note very well that no politician is trustworthy regardless of relationships, moral and re religious consideration. Whilst opting for frontal confrontation against WK, he ought to have considered the collateral implications to WK support, which he is quite familiar with. He needed sound strategic diplomacy and tactics to neutralize and jump over Wiki because he has all the executive powers and control over the vibrant state economy at his advantage. We all know that all the politicians in Nigeria, all of them are nothing to write them about, but if one seems to be better than the other one, of course you manage the one that you have now. You manage the one that is still manageable, the one that is still for the people a little bit. That is it. You will just manage manage the one that is better. Because all our politicians, all of them are obviously the same thing. But one is better than the other. And that is what the people of River State has chosen to support Fubara. Because he is way better than Wiki. They have chosen to support him. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.